Okay, so we're going to announce the rosters for today's game. Starting off with Bear B, we have 003, Maniacal Maiden, 040, Uproar Dern, 10, Rodeo, 101, Yellow Fever, 181, Katyusha, 1858, Minnesota Knights, 2323, Vittoria, 254, Scarotina, 379, Roofless, 452, Zaza Gaboom, 66, Glitter Shitter, loving that one, 753, Fender Bender, and a late exclusion 780 with Evil Redhead. Give it up for Bear B. And on the Dublin side, we have 05 Vegan Fox, 101 Powell, 11 Flash Dancer, 22 Grace Balls of Fire, 33 Petrifier, 35 Carnage, 407 Jackie Tequila, 43 Nasher, 47 AK, 555 Crash Dust Crummy, 6 Uniscorn, 623 Cooney, 65 Six five, sorry, bashful. Six eight one six, bliss of death, and nine three four. Oh crap! It looks like we're going to have the starting lineup against the jammers of AK in blue at four seven, and uproar Dern zero four zero on Bears team. It looks like Dublin takes the first lead of the game. Quick movement on the outside of the track by AK. This jam is looking to be controlled by Dublin with an early power jam to Dublin. Uproar Dern sitting early in the box. Dublin looking to run it for all it's worth. And at the end of that jam, we're looking at uproar still stuck in the box, and AK calling it early. Seven points for Dublin in this first jam. So we have a unique scenario out right on track where only Dublin's jammer is starting off this, and Bear's jammer has to start from the box. It's known a power start. Jamming for Dublin, we have 101 Powell, who is some, now in the lead. Some nice offensive work early from Dublin to break a little gap for Kara Powell. Now looking on the defensive is Dublin. Powell pushing that front pack into a bridging formation, but can't hold her much longer. A forearm penalty looks to give Uproar some space, pushing on the front, and she is out of the pack. <laughs> Kara choosing to call it off before approaching the pack, and Dublin are Keeping the lead with 15-0. It's a good start from Dublin. Lining up at the jammer line, we have 254 two, Scaratina and number 05 Fox. Or should I say Vegan Fox? Only two blockers out on track for Dublin. This is going to be a tense moment. Can they hold the jammer back while still getting their jammer some lead? Some great blocking there from Bliss, paired with Petra. That is a solid wall of white holding Fox at bay at the rear. And that is the first lead for Bear of the game. Can they capitalize in the on this jam? <laughs> 
Bear calling it and Freezing Fox in the box. It is going to be a power start for Bear. Three seven nine taking the track, Roofless looking to break down this true wall of blue, taking the opportunity of this power start. Some good zonal work from Bear and Roofless is true. work from Ruthless there. Nice footwork to get out on the inside. Fox is now live in the box er, in the pack. And a quick exit from Fox. Some excellent work down the center. And that was an early call off there to hold all the points from Dublin. Score is now standing at 15-10. Both backs looking to give no space out there on that jam line. We have AK jamming for Dublin, and then we have Upper Dern jamming for Bear City in this jam. And AK is in the lead. AK managed to seal the points out for Bear and gaining three points in the progress, Packs making use of the short space. Crash making use of that first scoring pass. And Scaratina has managed to pass the, the star to Vitruia. Look at the close down that pack, but Crash calls it before any points are scored. We have Roofless and Fox lined up as jammers for this jam. And the jammer line is packed. It doesn't look like either team want to give up any <laughs> space at all. Oh, that was a big hit. We have a no pass, no penalty situation going on, if I'm not mistaken. So the lead is still open. There we go, it goes to Vegan Fox. Dublin looking to push on through with that late lead one. Looking to gain those points back lost in this jam. But Bear hold them at bay.
seven jams in and the points are looking tight. 25-14, still to Dublin. Bit of space out on track for the first jam now. We'll only three and three in both packs. Scaratina jamming against Powell. Oh, and Powell we have a jammer it. race on our hands. Both jammers flying out of the pack with lead still to Dublin. Oh, one point stolen there for Bear. Adjustment, that is two points stolen for Bear. AK facing up against Upper Dern in this gem, and the lead goes to AK for Dublin. Some tidy footwork there to get on the outside. Upper Dern looked to work some fashion footwork herself, but got caught on the front pack. This blue pack is ruthless on the front. Lead jammer is lost, so it looks like we're going to be running this jam for its full length, AK going to the box. This is a real chance for Bear here with Oprah Dern on the uh, already making her first scoring pass. Dublin holding off some good offense there from Bear. Oprah are still looking to capitalize on this jam, but that wall is relentless. Dublin making it very hard work for Oprah right there. But gaining full four points on that, coming around for another pass. Scores are looking tied at 25-24. AK making quick work straight out of the box there, trying to look at make up for lost ground. Oprah already getting that scoring pass, however. What a jam. Just making sure the score is right now, but it looks like Dublin narrowly retained the lead with 29 and to 28. Some points scored by AK before traveling to the box maintains that lead. No wonder how narrow it is. Currently, we have a team timeout for Dublin. we could give a shout out to our wonderful officials for today because they're always they're always here <laughs> ever present ever working and a thankless job at that just to let you guys know in the stripes and the gray and the black we have brain of terror marilyn manson ginger snaps brain of terror mag madonna louise dempsey Sheik her booty, loving that one. <laughs> Liz Fizzle, Fury, Ashley O'Connell, Juligan, Riff Ref, Treff, Beans on Toast Ops, Martin McFly, Logan Nighthawk, Dear Koenig, Victoria Velociraptor, and John Quad Grand Slam. Thanks very much for coming and officiating for this game. Thank People, you, officials. Can I get our applause for our officials? Give it up for our officials. No longer going a thankless job. Thank you very much, crowd.
Currently, we have Dublin in the lead with Crash Test Scrummy. And on the Berlin side, we have Roofless Jamming. Nice footwork there from Crash to get out and get those points. Crash looking to sneak in a few extra points there and does succeed. As Jam 10 is now passing, I would have to say that the two teams are suffering a bit of, from penalty issues uh, with already each team get, getting granted a power jam and short packs becoming the regular out on track. That jammer line ever crowded with three going in three. It's looking like a bear lead, nice out. Scary team in the lead. Fox fighting to get out there just quickly. Quick foot on the line, keeps in, and a good chase. With a pack separation, Bear call it and get all the points. Great rollback from the blue wall there, giving no space to the bear jammer. Kara opting to fake, but then using strength to kind of trick out these blockers. But a huge hit. Bear looking to get the points and try and seal Dublin out, but Dublin somehow sneak in. One, two, two points. points. Two points for Powell. It's becoming regular now that we're seeing 3v3 off the track line. AK and Ruthless jamming in this Who's jam. This? And the lead goes to AK almost immediately. Some quick work on that inside line. We have a tight jammer race on our hands. With players in the box, we're looking to get them out and also get some points. Risk reward. <laughs> quick feet from AK looks to be punished, however, with a track cut on the outside. It looks like control of this jam is now being handed over to the clock. Some bare offense working its way against that strong blue wall, but they persist. Some great defense work there, looking strong on the power jam kill. And Bear looking to reform and hold AK back, but good strength pushes right through the center of that pack. With 47 seconds left on that clock, the clock controls this. No lead jammers, and AK makes quick work of the pack, getting a full point. Sneaky work from Ruthless there. He's capitalized on the inside, but cannot get through that front line of blue. Yeah. 
Some strong work from both walls here, holding both jammers at bay. AK getting a little push from Bash, coming back from the penalty box and scoring some four more points. It was a big jam from Dublin to come back and get those points on the board after taking a power jam against. The real big danger in those jams when the clock takes control is really keeping your players out of the box. But both teams have really suffered from these penalties early in this game. I think a full pack against full pack control, but Dublin are the only ones at full capacity. We've got Scaratina like speeding up alongside the inside line and getting lead for Berlin. Against her jamming is crashed as crummy in this jam. Those Dublin jammers cannot be held at bay for long, however. Bear looking to take the four points and get back and reshuffle. Huge hit to get out there from uh, Uproar Dern. It was strength that won on the inside line and got them lead. Bear choosing points to show out DRD there. And we finish the jam with three points to two. Bayer still shipping away at that uh, lead to Dublin with uh, 56 points to 50 on the board. Very close game indeed. We almost had f two full packs out on the track there, but it looks like Bayer still have a player in the box. A great track back, jammer v jammer. That's some strong keeping by the blue team at the rear. And Kara is still knocking on the door at the front, pushing into a bridging. And it looks like lead is finally decided in this jam. Some quick offense on the out, but Carnage seals. Both teams not giving an inch out on that track. It's almost blue for white for each person. Bears certainly making it so that no easy points are being scored by Kara Powell. A good charge by Bear and finally out. The jam's being called off by Powell. No more points for either of the teams. Both teams doing really well in there, but I do have to say that the true uh, victor in that uh, last jam has to be the defense from both teams. Both jammers looked exhausted coming off that track. Super strong pack. I feel Packs. that the blockers often go unthanked and unappreciated, but when you see stellar blocking from both sides like that, you just have to give them a shout out.
AK and Scaratina back on track, and Scaratina calls off the jam to prevent AK from scoring any points. A nil-nil jam, but we can't go by a jam without seeing someone sit in the box, it seems. Still waiting for a jam at full strength from both sides. Score is currently standing at 64.50 to Dublin. Bear have knocked on the door once or twice, coming even within one point, but Dublin are maintaining a very strong lead. Uproar looking to upset, taking lead in this jam. Oprah are taking full points, but crash stealing. Two, I want to say. <laughs> Two, <laughs> Two points. points out of that jam, yeah. Scaratina in the lead for Bear City. Fox with a quick chase down. Not yeah, happy, not getting like that race. lead. Fox proving that it is, there is no unanswered points to go in this game. Oh, and there's oh, no there points is. for Bear. Scaratina went out to the wide, not picking up any points, and Fox still stealing three points. That was a big, big counter jam from Fox. Ruthless cutting through the center of that pack. <laughs> Carol Powell looking to waste some time to get their blockers out of the box and still shut Bear out. Looks like we have an official timeout happening. Yep. Looks like it's going to be a score adjustment. <laughs> score is sitting at 73.54 with four minutes and 30 seconds left in this half. I do have to say in the closing uh, minutes of this half, Dublin are starting to wedge a bit of a gap once again, but uh, they certainly can't switch off as that lead has reduced to one point before. Jammers are getting a bit, a bit of a run-up this time around, with AK jamming for Dublin and Upper Dern jamming for Bear City. AK in the lead. It seems as these minutes are dwindling away that Either Bear or Dublin will chase every lead jammer out of that pack, giving no room for error. One point for Dublin in this one. Both teams at full strength in this jam. It'll be interesting to see what they can do.
Bear almost sneaking out to get a lead, but it's crash on the board. Good reform from Dublin, sees that Bear's jammer is tracked back. Oh, and defensive work being done. Scarotino succeeded in pushing Crash out to the out, but Crash gets another scoring pass unanswered. Another good uh, jam from Crash to bridge that gap of blue v white. Some good jammer v jammer uh, trackbacks there from Bear. That's the second time we've seen that use that. Just a huge hit from Blue 6 5. Bash on the in to stop that uh, lead happening. Still picking up a penalty though on that out of play. Finner to return. Arguably that one uh, double under lead with Fox out and attacking the wall. Penalty being issued to Ruthless. This is exactly what Bear do not want in the dying uh, moments of this half. Fox has been quite a thorn in their side. Fox working her way through the pack again. Oh, a huge hit out there. It was Minnesota nice, and that was a nice hit for Fox to go on the out and track her back. That was a huge jam from Fox, an unanswered set of points. We're at 94 to 54 for Dublin, and we have 40 seconds left in this half. Looks like we have one last jam in this one half. One last jam. Some good push through for Bear and they get lead. That is a big win for this last jam of the half. Ending on a high note. Upper Dern. Closely followed by Powell. We have a little race on our hands. Upper Dern just calling for her back to get, a, get under control. Keep it messy for a nice pass. Picking up some points for the end of this half. With a jam ending with uh, two points to Bear and one point to Dilden, that is Bear just saying their dying breaths that they are not giving up. So just so you guys know as well, after all the action is done on track today, we will be having an after party in the back page in Fibsborough. It'll be about eight to late, but some people go directly there. And my God, do they have some tasty pizza there. I was gonna say, go for the pizzas. They're delicious. And get there early, otherwise it's gonna take forever to, to make them. <laughs> Can you tell I skipped lunch? I'm talking about food. Baked goods, pizza, mmm. Food. Three seconds till the next half. 
We have Scaratina and AK Jamazana. jamming. And AK gets the lead. Quick work through the pack. Dublin look to start as they finish off as Bear are still knocking on that amazingly strong blue wall. Bear also holding AK. We've got Ruthless jamming for Bear City and Powell for Dublin in this jam. Both of them very strong. Balls looking to do some uh, good blocking at the front of the pack there to knock Ruthless out. Oh, some fast footwork up that inside. It was a great escape from Ruthless. I just want the crowd to be aware uh, we actually have a skater making their B-team debut out on track, 9-3-4, oh, crap! Give it up for oh, crap! Yay! Some strong seal there from Krep, uh, Petra and Bliss. Fox getting a good lead on the end. Both teams fighting hard early in this half, but Dublin are managing to keep Bear off that scoreboard for this half. <laughs> oh, Jammer's getting caught in that web of the uh, Blockers there, but Bear squeezing their way true for lead. Scaratina picking up all points there and calling it off, keeping Crash at bay. Another public service announcement. Sorry, that was my public service announcement. Uh, so another skater uh, that is worth mentioning today is number six, uh, Scorn on the Dublin side, whose last game this is with DRD. So give it up for Scorn as well. Give her some love. Everyone enjoys a bit of a jammer race to that pack. Both teams managing to seal points out at the end of that jam.
Dublin looking to do some damage here. Unluckily for Bear, it seems to be a power jam to Dublin with Kara Powell pouncing on the back of this white pack and straight through for full points. Dublin lining up, set, poised for offense. Another quick call off to keep that jammer in the box for those few seconds. So it's going to be a power, power start for Vegan Fox. Fox is looking to get straight on the back of this white wall while the Dublin blue blockers are going to be looking to crack open a center or a, a line for Fox to break on through. Just so you know that this official break is coming to you uh, in regards to uh, fixing the clock, the track, and just remedying a few things about that scoreboard. And we're back. The blue pack opening up that outside line and Fox is out with a quick lead for the Blues. Up return with a good uh, return to the pack. Very strong hit and looking to get straight through that pack. A good answer to that power start for Jim, for Dublin. And another quick call off from Fox. Let's see if Bear scored. Oh, they did. They sneaked in two points. One point for Dublin in this jam. Oh, more than one, sorry. One in that last pass. I don't know about you, but I always love a stolen point from a jammer. A jammer at a disadvantage taking points is a victory in itself. Just Bear taking a team time out here, probably looking to reassess, refocus, and make sure that they give the best 23 minutes that they can in this half. Dublin with a sizable lead. Garatina and Crash lined up on that jammer line. Scaratina trying to zigzag her way, her way through that pack while does. Crash was looking for a more direct route. Lead goes to Bear City. It, it turns out that Scaratina's zigzags is enough to get Flying the big on that track. That's certainly a promising result from a team timeout. Lead and points on the board while shooting the opposition out. Looks like that team worked or that team talk really worked. It's also really nice to just get that little breather, I can say as a skater. 
that one minute. It's nice. Uh, I'm sure there's no, uh, <laughs> there's no uh, <laughs> amount of tired legs out on the track at this stage. We've got Roofless jumping against AK. Both often to go to the center and both going a very tenacious route, bouncing off those blockers. That was a very close escape for both of the jammers, but the lead goes to AK. AK looking to steal those points. And there's a jammer trade-off with two points to Dublin and one point to Bear. I think now it's two and two, two points each. Pal and Upper Dern on the jam line. Upper Dern looking for the strong, strong uh, push that to the, out, or the inside. Wow. Lead on Bavaria. Another little race here. That looked like a strong jam from Upper Dern there. Picking up all the points as to uh, AK's one point. Demo, this is the moment you've been waiting for. We have two full packs on track. I do love when penalties are not obscuring my derby. Vegan Fox jamming for Dublin, and we have Scaratina jamming for Bear City. I would say that Bear is starting to gain some momentum, but Fox looks to crush the momentum of getting lead for Dublin. You might notice that Scaratina has taken the Jammerstar off their head. It's not just a trick of play for the officials. It just gives options for the pivots. Now it's Dublin's turn to reassure themselves, to get back into this game and just settle a bit of headspace. Do we have any sponsors? I feel like the team timeouts should be allocated to sponsors. Whenever I'm watching like any WFTDA game, they oh this timeout goes to whatever skates. <laughs> so apparently we do have sponsors. <laughs> Shout out to our sponsors, whatever they are. <laughs> I would like to give a shout out to uh, the snacks and treats you can get at the table over here. Reasonably priced and super delicious. I would expect you to uh, grab all the cakes and bakes before I get my hands on them because certainly I've had enough cakes and bakes. Um, also, I'd like to reiterate that we do have our after party later on in the back page in Fibsborough. It's super easy to get to. And if pizza is not enough to sway you, I do believe they have a crazy golf course within the pub. So uh, you don't they have to do. go outside and get wet, but it's a case of grab a club and uh, go golfing with Dublin Roller Derby. And Bear City, hopefully. That is a super sprint up the inside from Bear. A no pass, no penalty, seals off the lead. Crash getting lead. A bit of confusion there on the benches. Not sure whether to call it off or who has lead. I got confused as well, to be fair. We've got four points going to Bear City. Bear looking to capitalize on that confusion, getting all the points in that jam. AK and Opera Dern jamming in this jam. 
And the lead goes to Upper Dern. I have to say Upper Dern is being really, good really good footwork work. on that outside line. Just sailed through. I was going to commend Upper Dern for um, her strength in the first half, but I have to say that was some fancy footwork on the outside to get that lead. That is some good, strong pack play from both teams there. AK somehow finding a way through. But Dublin still holding Upper Dern at bay, finally getting out. Score is standing at 132 to Dublin B and 79 to Bear B with 18 minutes, just under 18 minutes to play. And my favorite thing about this jam is that the penalty box is empty. Nothing like full strength derby. Some wonderful lanes being opened by uh, Dublin's offense while still defending. Not able to capitalize on it, Kara Powell has been kept at bay by quite an, a, a terrific white wall. Their movement has been stellar. It is Caratina currently in the lead, scoring points. Because Kara Powell has taken uh, the star off her head. Okay, guys, you've seen some great derby so far today, so I'm gonna just gauge who's shouting for who out in the audience today. Can I get a, a big uh, shout out, applause for Dublin Roller Derby? Okay, so Dublin have some very polite supporters out there in the audience. Can I get um, some applause for Bear City? It looks like the away supporters are winning here. <laughs> I think Fox's supporters are actually louder than the Dublin supporters. <laughs> Let's try this again. Can I hear your support for Dublin Roller Derby? Sorry, I couldn't hear, I went deaf. That was too loud. <laughs> and can I hear it again for, Bur uh, for Bear City? There we go. Crash is crummy jumping for Dublin and Upper Dern jumping for Bear City. And the lead goes to Crash. That's some tenacious blocking there with a good chase down from the blue wall. It's good bridging, delaying that, uh, that pack call. Carnage having to let uh, Upper Dern go after doing that hard work to stretch that, blood, uh, that Dublin pack. There is a cutting track penalty being issued to Crash, so we have a full two-minute jam, if I'm not mistaken. Those penalties are really amassing. Both teams trading even uh, penalties at half time, but certainly uh, one team or the other team are getting hurt by uh, penalties per jam. Some great offense coming for uh, Opera Dern there. Bear certainly stretching the Dublin pack and making it to great effect. Crash somehow squeezing through there, getting full points in that scoring pass. Oprah Dern still knocking on that door and pushing right through the center of that pack. Some great strength shown there.
Both jammers trading even points. And these packs certainly not making it easy. Each point is, it comes with a price. So with 13 minutes to play, the scores stand with Dublin B, 150, and Bear City B at 98. Bears still quietly knocking away at that score. Scaratina facing off against AK. That is one strong pack. AK coming out on top with the lead. AK making quick work of the pack and sprinting out just to try again. Does not want to give any seconds of freedom to that barrel wall. And we have a star pass, if I'm correct, on the Bear City side. Oh, no. No star pass in the end. I really have to uh, commend uh, Dublin's blocker work just really making Bear work for absolutely every point. AK feeling confident to run it, and Ali's definitely saying, go, 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 go. Signing that uh, AK has enough points in that jam just to call it off quick, but that was a stellar jam from AK. Kira Powell getting a uh, lead jammer status in this jam. Ruthless chipping away and getting out. But Kira Powell just prancing through the center of that wall. Short and sweet, four points on the board for Dublin. Some people think it's all about the points putting up on the board, but. I'd have to argue that it's just as important to keep the points off the board for the opposition. A 4 nil jam is probably much better than running it and risking it. Some quick feet from Vegan Fox, Fox on the outside. the outside line, that was amazing. Dern again just knocking at that front wall. They are unforgiving, but they are stretched. And Upper Dern manages to squeeze through on that outside. I like how the strategy keeps changing with each jam. Look at that packed jam line, whereas the previous couple of jams were surrounded. Uh, the, the blockers were surrounding the pivot line rather than the jam line. And the jammers got a little bit of a run up. Everyone which knows. It's not the happening now. 
Everyone knows the party's on the jam line. That's where it's at. That's where you want to be. That's where you want to crowd in. There is some wonderful chaos going out on, on the track. There is indeed. Oh, it's like bear capitalizing on this trading blows. It is Scaratina with the G uh, lead jammer status. It looks like Crash is capitalizing on that confusion over a penalty on the outside. Now up to jam 20, and Dublin is 174 to 106, with eight, just under eight minutes to play. I believe Bears' tenacity is growing, and it's all about how Dublin oh. can match them with resolve. Looked like a painful fall there on the inside. Scare. Oh. And the lead jammer going to Ruthless. Ruthless just stealing the, uh, the lead from the clutches of AK there, who had fallen to a knee and uneligible. Oh, AK just cutting up that inside line and stealing all the points. A trade off four to one in Dublin's favor. Some sneaky footwork from AK there. An official review being called there from the head ref. And it looks like a jammer is going to sit in the box. So it looks like it's going to be a jam or power jam start for Dublin here. Kira Powell jamming. Number one on one, 101, sorry. Oh, some great offense from the blue wall, just squeezing both sides, giving options for Kara both in and out, and just running up the inside as Kara Powell into lead. Good strength shown there from Kara, straight through the center of that wall, pushing. Dublin trying to hold on to that goat at the rear, controlling pack. Well, that pack is struggling at keeping Kara behind. Good power at the front, just stretches the bear wall, picking up those scoring passes. A good track back there from Carnage, 3-5. Just a whole bear at bay even longer. This jam not being kind to bear with two blockers in the box, including their pivot. Kara Powell just Kara sailing doing some through. defensive work there to hold on to the jammer to great success while picking up all the points. Great track back from Eunice Gorn. Just Kara Powell picking up all the points in this jam, really turning the screw. Ruthless is really just trying everything to get away from this blue wall. Now available is the pivot to her, but or sort of them, but uh, are they? And Ruthless has finally made it out of that back. Oh, Kara Powell! There was a forearm penalty issued to someone. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Oh, and yeah. it was Kara Powell. 
So just in the dying moment of that jam, Carabao tried to use some defensive work to keep Ruthless again back into that pack, but uh, picking up a forearm penalty to do so. Looks like there's an official review happening. I can only um, assume Al is going in to query that forearm at the end of the jam. Unfortunate if uh, the penalty sticks. It is amazing to see a jammer out there doing defensive work and still picking up all the points and just continuing that stride. It was an amazing jam from Kara Powell. Just while this official review is ongoing, the scores stand at 2.02 to Dublin and 1.07 to Bear with four minutes to play. I do feel that uh, a lot of things went in error for uh, Bear in that last jam. What's been happening? So um, I've just been informed by our inside pack ref, Beans, that the official review was indeed about the forearm uh, being assessed to Kira Powell. Uh, but with eyes on from multiple refs, the call is going to stick, and Dublin have lost their official review. So this is Bear's time to capitalize and essentially reply to that great jam from Kira Powell. Again, Dublin, or sorry, Bear now holding the goat at the rear and controlling pack. Bear have lead. Tables have turned now. It was a power jam start for Bear City. And it looks like they're making a great use of it. Some good offense train coming in there from Bear. Can Scaratina get out? No, it's a good block from Bash. 6-5 to hold Scaratina within that uh, pack. Bear now going on the defense as Carapallo is released from the box and knocking on that back door. Scaratina picking up the points, but pack speed is increasing. Dublin not looking to give away any Where's points. Where's all our blockers? Yet again, we're seeing a lot of penalties out on track. It is causing major trouble to the defensive side of this game. Dublin with two blockers in the box and Bear with one. Again, we're just seeing a huge chip away at those walls at the start of a jam. I would argue that uh, games are won on short packs, but I fear that whole games should not be played with short packs. We have definitely seen a lot of blocker penalties, even jammer penalties in this game. We're just at an official review here, and I believe it's a clock adjustment. Uh, I believe we started the last jam on 4.17, and time has not ticked on. There we go. We have uh, an adjustment there to 3.08 by uh, our, um, our officials. So... Those officials, they never miss a beat. And they never ask for anything. We'd be lost without them. Can I just hear one uh, round of applause for the officials? Big Keeping shout these out games to going. Our and not really flamingos anymore. Ravens, I suppose. Crash getting involved in the defensive duties of the pack here, managing to push. Oh, picking up a, what would I assume, a blocker penalty with multiplayer and going to the box is Crash. Defense comes with a cost. And Opera Dern getting that lead. 
In these dying moments of the game, it is essential that Bear use every second on that clock. Good defensive work here from Carnage and Petra at the front, while Bliss is trying to break true. I feel like penalties are contagious in this game. As soon as one skater gets it, they just follow another to the box. Crash coming out of the box there and getting out on the initial. Crash calling for points, and indeed, Crash got the points. Three points for Dublin and two points for Bear City in this last jam. Okay, guys, with uh, one minute and 40 to play on the scoreboard, I'm going to look for three rounds of applause. First for Dublin, for Bear City, and for Derby. This could be our last jam. Potentially, we have Rufless facing off with Vegan Fox up at the front currently. Rufless just absolutely breaking through the center of that blue wall, but that reform is just ruthless. I see what you did there. Rufless still picking up that lead, however, after a tenacious break through the center of the pack. This is definitely the ideal scenario for Bear here. What a power jam scenario. Rufus One looking to make hard work against two blockers. Bliss holding her at bay for, or sorry, them at bay for a bit longer. But still picking up all the points. Rufus is turning this jam into a painful one for uh, Dublin. Fox out with a very quick pass from the box there. However, I feel like it, just a second ago, it was a power jam against Dublin. Now it is a power jam for Dublin with Fox trading a bl two blockers and a jammer, three blockers and a jammer in the box. Some great footwork on that inside line. We have 17 seconds left. I would say that this uh, jam is fairly reflective of uh, tenacious blocker work, uh, good movement from jammers, but glaringly so that the box is full at the end of this game. Bear fighting right to the end there. But it there looks we have like it. The victory has been won to Dublin. Just awaiting the final scores. <laughs> Don't be afraid to take to the track and wait to celebrate for both teams who fought a hard game in that. Get in for those high fives. It's looking like the scores are official at 216 to 128. Dublin victory. But uh I have to say, what a tenacious game from both sides. Great a really game. entertaining game. Anyways, I've been Demo, this has been Teeny, and I will just like to sign off with a... Okay, thanks, bye. <laughs>